Sing it. Starting again. American Idol, are you ready for season... I am, of course. Season 10. 10, right? Yeah. We don't know who the judges will be, <laughs> but we'll be there. It's wide open, and uh, we don't know who the contestants are, but we see about 50,000 of them right now in New Jersey, something like that. Julie Chang is at the Idol Auditions at the IZOD Center. Julie, really, really speaking, how many people are there? You know what, Greg and Rosanna, if you thought American Idol is losing steam, you're completely wrong because they estimate about 17,000 people here. Now, two years ago when auditions were here, right here at IZAD Center, about 10,000 people showed up. So it's about double that number. So quite impressive. So take a look around. It's a little desolate. You see like tumbleweeds, you know, going through. You hear crickets. I do a bad cricket, right? Well, that's because everybody's inside the IZOD Center right now trying out. So there's are dozens of producers sitting at tables, and the contenders have about 10 to 30 seconds to impress them. Well, luckily, I hung on to the most talented two that I could find, brothers Rob and Paul from right here in New Jersey. Something tells me they're over the age of 28, but we won't tell anybody. All right, hit it, guys. Okay, well, we are going to be the next American Idol. Go ahead, Paul. People here are wasting their time. Go home! Because I'm the next American Idol. I'm the next American Idol. I'm the next American Idol. You're at the Idol auditions to be a big star. But 99% of you won't get that far. Get back in your car. Because I'm Idol's next big star. Your mommy told you that you could sing. She lied to you about everything. Give up on your dreams. Because I'm going to win this competition clean. Come on, Julie. Right, come on, Julie. Sing it, Trisha Takanella. I'm the next American Idol. I'm the next American Idol. All right, just in case you're wondering why you recognize yes, Paul. <laughs> It's because he made it onto Idol. He made it all the way to Hollywood Week about three years ago when Paula Abdul was still well, no, around. Not Hollywood Week. Oh, I'm sorry. You made it to the, I guess, the reject reel, and he was he was labeled Paula's stalker. So we got some real winners out here. <laughs> Again, Idol train stops in Austin and San Francisco after this, so you still have a chance to try out. Of course, it will cost you a flight, but hey, that's the cost of a dream. All right, you can find all that information on AmericanIdol.com. Greg and Rosanna, just because he made the Trisha Takanawa reference, you know I have to tag out. Reporting from the IZA Center, Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, and the family guy. So I'm making somebody happy over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Julie has such a great sense of humor. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Julie. And the judges on American Idol have really great insight. I think they made the right decision with those two guys.